We're gonna be working on a Sienna 2015 doing the coolant flush today. You gotta get to the drain, the drain plug down there. Right at the top of the engine is for the two GRFEs. I'll include what vehicles have that. All right, your bleeder valve is going to be right back in here. I'm going to put a 10 inch ratcheting wrench on there. Let's get that going first. Okay. Quarter inch ID, clear hose. It is, it is a snug fit. Set that up. And you're going to use one of these plastic funnel deals for uh, for the set up the bleeding right. Um, I'll show you how that goes. That up. This hose is gonna go right in here. Okay, that's good. Right there. You're using Toyota, Toyota brand coolant. Don't use anything else. And you're gonna to want to fill it up slowly. You don't want to overfill it. All right, so this bleeding procedure is going to take about 10 minutes or so. We're going to um, start the engine, get it to 20, 2,000, 2,500 RPM. This is going to spit spit some bubbles out, and then uh, we're going to watch our fluids. It's going to get to a point where it's going to go down, and then come back up, and then we'll be able to top that, close that bleeder valve off, or almost done at that point. So this is the setup I'm going to use. It's got an old jack handle, put a towel here. Use that to hit the, the gas pedal, just to rev it up, because you want to rev it up over 2,000 RPM, or 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. Make sure your heaters are set to off, rear off.
Thank you. Right here, this is all the air coming out of the heater core. All this bubbling. Now we're waiting for it to come back up with a steady flow. a steady flow. Don't worry too much about these little bubbles here. They're going to come up. We're going to close the breeder valve. Now we're going to let it idle and we're going to get the rest of the bubbles out now. Oh. And top off your coolant reservoir. This is Cars You Can Fix. Thanks for watching.